What's up, YouTube people? Here with another review for you guys and sort of an unboxing on the Action Shot HD video camera. Now, why did I say sort of an unboxing? Because what I actually did was I put everything back in the box in its original place just so I can take it out the box, just so you can see what it looks inside the box before I take it out. Why? Because detail. So, yeah, here's the box. I know you wanted to see the whole thing. Just be patient. Action Shot, as you see already, HD digital video camera. Shoot it, share it. Ages 7 and up. 7 up. <laughs> Jack Specific. I remember that company. Used to be affiliated with SmackDown vs. Raw. Here's the side of the box. Shoot it and share it. Basically the same thing on the front. Here is the other side of the box. Helmets. I don't know who that snowboarder is. Bars. I don't know who that biker is. Boards. I don't know who that skateboarder is. Jack specific again. And here's the back of it. Video, shoot maximum action video at 120 frames per second with an amazingly compact QGGA. Photos, shoot maximum action photos and standard mode or capture several images at once with stop frame mode. Edit, edit your footage with free online software, then post and share. Further down the back, HD video camera. This just shows all the specifications, but we're gonna get into that in a little bit. And then the accessories there. And then this is the boring bottom of it. You see the boring bottom. Cool. Now let's get to the bottom of this. Ha 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 ha. And here is the camera itself. All right, so real quick, tell me this doesn't look like a morpher from the Power Rangers. It's morpher time. No. Okay, well, tell me it doesn't look like a Beyblade. Let it rip. Okay, I'm done. But yeah, check out the detail on it. it. Says action shot, high performance, digital camera, click and grip, auto focus, HD video, HD again so here you have your micro SD slot and you slide it open it's hard to slide open and it's hard to take the SD card in and out I don't know why it's made like that and then right on top of it is the tiny microphone and then around the side here you have the power button slash mode button and on the side here you have the micro USB slot I'm not sure exactly what it's called I know what it's called I just forgot so I know I'm way off so don't judge me on that part it doesn't matter anyways this is for syncing and charging the camera. And then around on this side, you have the record slash stop button. And then on the back here, it shows the specifications of each mode, but we're going to get into that in a moment, like I said. And then right here, you have the slot for the video viewer. What that is, is an attachment you put onto the back of the camera. It allows you to see your videos and pictures, because right now you can't see anything that you record or you take pictures of. You just sort of have to guess and then wait until you get home to put it onto your computer or whatever you use to view your videos or pictures. And then right at the top here, you have your reset button. Then here you have the engraved stuff, 2012, Jack Specific Incorporated, such and such, a bunch of unimportant stuff. Oh, excuse me, I am way off. This is actually the speaker, as you can see with the speaker icon. Duh, Brian, how did I miss that? And over here is the reset button. As you can see with reset, Another duh, Brian. Now I'm trying to contemplate whether or not I knew that or I was just pretending I didn't know just so I can get a laugh out of you. But Brian, where's the footage at? I'm trying to see the video. Okay, I'm going to show you the video. Hold on. Hold your horses. But wait a minute. It wouldn't be right of me to not use the trusty head strap. Let me put that together real quick. I don't know if you can tell, but the camera is sideways, as you can tell by the buttons on the side. This is for the vertical orientation. When I put it like this, it's now horizontal, as you can tell by the buttons on the top and the bottom. Pretty cool feature. And now the part you've been waiting for. Alright, real quick, tell me I do not look like Sam Fisher. No? Alright, here's HD mode as you can tell by the red light. Okay, so this is HD mode 1280 by 720 resolution with 30 frames per second. The video playback is decent for the price as well as the audio. I can live with it. Uh, of course you can see all the lag, but once you go outside and really take this places, You'll see that it is much smoother video playback from what you see now. But like I said, it's decent for what it is. I like it. I can live with it. Here's VGA mode, as you can tell by the orange light. Okay, this is VGA mode, 640x480 resolution with 60 frames per second. So it is a much smoother video playback as opposed to HD. Although the aspect ratio is now 4x3 as opposed to 16x9, which is the standard resolution around the world. Well, for me. This is fit for standard definition TVs or devices that you want to play it on. And the resolution is not that much more different. It's not like less than HD. You can't really tell a difference in that. So this is a win-lose situation here. But I like this. Here's QVGA mode, as you can tell by the red-orange light. 
Okay, and this is QVGA mode, 320 by 240 resolution with 120 frames per second. It seems like the lower the resolution, the higher the frame rate, which is a win-lose situation once again. And as you can tell, the resolution on this one is actually less, like it's worse. You can actually tell a difference in this one now. It actually seems a bit zoomed in as well. I don't understand like why there's a mode for this, but I guess it's like if you want less memory taken up on your SD card, because that's what you need for this camera. So, this is doable, but I'm not really going to use this mode that much. And finally, here's photo mode, as you can tell by the green light. Okay, so this is photo mode at 2592 by 1944 resolution at 120 frames per second. This quality is actually great to my extent. I'm impressed. Going into it, I thought it was going to be crappy. I haven't used this mode in a while, so that's why I thought so. But no, no, I'm impressed. I really like this a lot. Alright guys and girls, I hope you liked this review. Let me know what you think about it, whether or not you thought it even was one. Because apparently, in my last review, somebody didn't think it was for some reason. They were like, bad review, it's just an unboxing, just kill yourself, <laughs> whatever. You're killing me before I kill myself. Nah, nah, I ain't gonna kill myself, don't get it twisted. Yeah, I got this around $20. I literally just tried to find an invoice on Amazon, I couldn't find it. But I do know I purchased it around $20 back in 2014, and it still holds up just fine. And I'm pretty sure it is because I do take care of my stuff and I don't have to prove anything to y'all because y'all don't mean anything to me. I was just playing on that last part. And for you haters and pansies out there that don't think there was enough details in this video, you can do yourself a favor. Two favors actually. One, visit the first link in the description below if you even read those. Or two, find another video if there is one, which I'm pretty sure there is. Alright, hope you liked this review like I just said. This has been the Action Shot HD Camera Review and sort of unboxing from yours truly. Stay positive, till next time. My mistake, this is actually my last review. The one I mentioned in the video was my second to last review, so go check that out if you haven't already. Thanks in advance.